morning. This is Margaret Fetty of the University of Sewing, and it's Saturday morning with Facebook Live, and we have Caitlin with us. Good morning. So, she's been off gallivanting, but we're very happy to have her back. So, is your gallivanting fun? Yes, I was at a family reunion, and had seen family that I haven't seen in years. So oh, that's wonderful. It was really nice. So, that's great. Okay, everybody, are you ready? We have a couple things for you today. <laughs> Couple of things. Couple. Okay, let's start off with our giveaway. Every morning when we do Facebook Live, which is Friday and Saturday mornings, we give you something. So we have this wonderful little book. It's the Handy Pocket Guide. And this is quilting, Quilt Making for Beginners. And it's done by Angela Walters, who's really a crack up. She's a very funny quilter. And her buddy, Chloe. So, um... We have this wonderful little book to give you, and then a little packet of fabric to get you started on your quilting adventures. And I'm going to guess with knowing you guys, you're going to be giving this as a gift to someone else, which is totally cool. The whole idea of these giveaways is to hopefully share with you something that either you can use or one of your lovely people in your life can. So please share. And let us know that you shared by making a comment in our comment section. Hit share on the Facebook stuff. And then what you do is when you shared it with your friends and family, you can put in our comments. Your, you can just put the word shared in there and we will take it from there. And we pick a name from all the people who shared and we give you one of our prizes. Now, sometimes they're very dramatic, kind of wonderful prizes and sometimes they're simple and sweet. So, we got this ready to go. So, if you can put that back on the table. Mm -hmm. Guess what, guys? IU won last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, we've got some wonderful IU fabric. And, you know, we have a lot of lovers of our Purdue team. So, we got to yeah. have some Purdue love, too. So, if you're a lover of foot, all things football, we have just some general football fabric. We've got some great IU fabric, and we have some wonderful Purdue gold. So, everybody, this is why we've got out the Indiana stuff. So, got to, got to, you it's know, started. Got, got to cheer the team on. Yeah. So, you know, you can't live in Bloomington and not cheer the team on. Right. That's just not fair. So, today, we have some really, really cool things to show you. I think I've shown you this panel before. In fact, I'm almost positive I have. We've shared Spirited before, haven't yes. we? Okay, so right now we have Spirited. We have a few panels left, and I do mean a few. We're really down. And it's got a wonderful stripe that goes with it, and it's got this really cute pattern called Run With Me. Now, the problem is that fabric right there, we're out of that. Oh. You'll see we're one of the reasons why here in a minute. So we're out of that, but we do have a wonderful teal that's from the same line you could replace in that spot instead. So we do have that, or you could ask us to find something else you would like. But I actually think if you wanted to, you could fussy cut those horses and put them in there. Ooh. That would be cute, don't you think? Yeah. So we've got the pattern. We've got the panel. We've also got, I think, one kit. And, but check out what one of our That's incredibly amazing. talented uh, customers did. Monica Jensen made this and you guys who know her, she is an extremely talented seamstress and she's got just a wonderful color eye and she decided to make this. Now the collar's made with part of the panel, which guess where she used the panel at? That's it really is an cool. awe. It is really an awe. She loves to make shirts. She does it frequently. And this guy turned out spectacular. So this is really beautiful. And there's another idea to use those panels in some really different and interesting ways. So I would have never thought about this. No. And I do think about clothes with our panels and things very yeah. frequently, but it's really weird because, I mean, this never occurred to me. It's that this is brilliant. This is it's truly stunning. brilliant. Yeah. Well, we're gonna just yeah, go ahead and put these there. guys back here. 
but that is really fascinating really cool so i wanted you guys to see that and let's go give a cheer out for monica what a smart gal she is for coming up with that okay last week i got in all kinds of trouble because i was supposed to show off earth views now earth views is a wonderful line of fabric and the deal with this is that the, um, there was an astronaut that went up to space. She designed this fabric. It was from a lot of photographs she took, and she came up with this line of fabric, and her name is Karen Nyberg. And these are the fabrics from that. And you know what? We're gonna do kind of an unveiling because I haven't done this yet. Ooh. I haven't really taken these apart. Um, why don't you get me a pair of scissors? Yeah. Just a little pair of scissors, and we're gonna cut this apart so we can show it off. I've been thinking about how we're gonna say have people. We just need that's a, yeah. Those are really weird. I don't know where they, they came are. From. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where they came from. Okay, so we're gonna take off this really pretty bundling off of here, and because I mean you want to see what you're gonna buy, right? Yeah. So that's kind of important. So we've got. I believe it's like four fat quarter bundles. I'm gonna let you start holding these. As, yeah, that's cool. Arm. Look at some of these really interesting pictures. Oh, like mountains. I think snow this is what top. she saw, you know, from outer space uh, she saw of Earth. And so these are gorgeous. All those swirls that's apparently, you know, maybe there was some sort of uh, weather pattern mm -hmm. going on there. The colors are really pretty. They've got lots, there's lots of blue in this. Um, I mean, that would make blue sense. Planet, We've yeah. got a lot of, uh, we have a lot of water. So, you know, look at that, how wonderful these water pictures are. And maybe up in the Arctic? Yeah. That's really fascinating. Okay, now we're gonna come into some brown and white. So again, some really beautiful colors. You guys are going to really enjoy. This is going to be one of those things that's going to be really interesting. I can see uh, starting off with a maybe white background and using this in a really modern looking quilt. Mm -hmm. I think that would be really beautiful. So, oh, this one's really fascinating. I like that. So, very interesting. We've got all this wonderful thing interesting looking at oh and this one almost looks like camouflage guess what they base camouflage on of course yeah. is our, our planet so that's pretty interesting so we've got some more maybe desert maybe some mountains who knows exactly where she was seeing these at but they are fascinating Ooh. and the the texture and the movement of the fabric is lovely and there's greens and browns and blues. Those are your colors. A little bit of tan, a little bit of tan. Oh, wow, this is probably my favorite so far. I love that with the purples and That's reds really in pretty. it. Oh, look at this one. That's pretty cool. Oh, definitely water there. Beautiful Ugh, teals. I wanna be there right now. Yeah, it looks like the Caribbean. <laughs> So here we go with some, uh, oh, that's really interesting. I wonder if that's just like a pixelated view of something. That's, there's another gorgeous one. Oh, fascinating. She has done an amazing job and I think these are really gorgeous and we're gonna be able to do something wonderful. Um, there is a pattern out there and we can get it for you really if neat. you want to do this. It's called Orbital, and I, I can get this. So if that's something you're interested in, it's a really beautiful line. We've got the, the uh, two and a half inch wide strips, and we've got the fat quarter bundles. So go online, look in the latest arrivals. You will find this in there. So those are right there. And uh, the fat quarter bundle has 30 pieces to it. Um, and the... Uh, Two and a half white wide strips have 40. So we're pretty good right there. Okay, so we have to take a, a station identification break here for a second. So we've been kind of talking about this a little bit, and maybe you saw it yesterday, but I want to talk about it more. 
I'm i am been talking with Alice and Denise and we've almost got everything figured out for Gail Yellen's event coming up October 21st and 22nd. So you need to save the dates because this is very special. I've actually already got some folks coming from Chicago for this. Wow. We've got people coming from all over. Gail Yellen is a very, very... Uh, she's very experienced with sergers and cover stitch machines. She is extremely talented. She has done this incredible book we have on our website called Serger Essentials. So this is a great book. Now, we're doing a table runner for the first day, and it is very lovely. Alice has got the sample almost made. So yay, Alice, thank you. And this is kind of a picture of the table runner. And I'm going to go ahead and, uh, so I don't make you guys dizzy. We've got to hold this in front of the camera for a minute. But we've got some really you cool stuff. Yep, yeah, we're, I'm going to use one more thing out of that. Yeah. That's why I didn't put it away yet. So we've got some really cool stitching types of um, decorative stitches you can do on your serger. And for those of you who do not have a combo machine that includes cover stitching, mm -hmm. this is going to be really cool because what's going on here is you're going to learn about your flat locking. You're going to learn about your, uh, we have to give you credit on your t-shirt here. Um, we're going to learn about doing our world edges. We're going to do some other things. And this is really, really pretty. So you're going to get a chance to do this. And we've already got now like eight people on the thing. I haven't got it live yet. Oh, gotcha. So we've already got eight people. So if you're thinking you want to do this, it's probably a good time to let us know that you want us to get back in touch with you to put you on the list. How many so. people are you accepting? Because I might be interested in it. <laughs> I need so, to get to know my so, surgery real well. I, this is going to really help you do that. Um, and if you look at, Caitlin took our t-shirt class the other day, and she has made her first t-shirt. And doesn't she look adorable in it? Oh, it was a so, great class, too. Margaret helped with, you know, um, oh gosh, fitting? altering the pattern to fit, like, our body shape. It was just yeah, real Because when great. you tried it on, what what happened with it? Was it was way too big for me. But where? It wasn't everywhere. No, it was just like in the sides and a little bit, the um, arm sleeves. Right, right. And I probably wouldn't have had any idea how to fix it. And Margaret, you know, I'm slowly getting the confidence after taking the class. Good, good. And so then with my serger... You did this. I did a lettuce edge. And which serger do you have? I have the Burnett, the B64, I believe it is. Yes, it is. It's the Air Threading B64. So this is something that this class we're going to have with this table runner, you are going to be able to do some really fun things in the class and learn about your machine. I'll bet you didn't even realize how many decorative stitches you can do just with a regular serger. It's fascinating. And this book actually covers some of it, so that's really fun to take a look at that and see she's done kind of the lettuce edge right yeah. here on the front. So you've already been practicing I've been a little practicing. Bit, so. so that's really fascinating. The second day. The second day is the jacket class. Now, don't let that scare you. I've had a couple of people say, oh, I, I can't do that. Look, what you're going to do is this a three-piece jacket. It has a front, a back, and sleeves. That's it. It's really simple. Don't you think that you could probably figure I'm, I'm that out? I'm getting to the point where I'm ready to take on something like so that. So this is just, it's a very simple yeah. jacket. There's not any de complicated design lines because the whole idea is you're going to decorate it. So yeah. that's the whole thing. It's going to be your decoration that you put on the fabric. And we've already pulled about seven or eight fabrics that I think that we're going to offer for the kit. Mm. And there's a couple of wools, there's a couple of linens, and there's some denim. Oh. So hopefully it kind of fits everybody's taste. <laughs> and if you don't find something that, you know, you like, and remember guys, this is going to be the first time you did this. <laughs> yeah. So you will learn a ton, but remember, if you just go ahead along and pick something that is in this group, 
we know you'll be successful with these fabrics. They're perfect for doing this. None of them are super heavy weight. They're all kind of on the lighter weight of like a wool. Um, it's more like a wool suiting, so it's not real heavy. The denims are not real heavy. Um, they have some real interesting things going on, and we have some really, really interesting linens to go into this. So something there should work for all of you. We're going to do a pre-class. We will do it in a Zoom version, and we will do it in, because some of the folks, like, if you're coming from Chicago, you aren't going to necessarily be able to make two trips in this time frame necessarily. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to be coming from Louisville or uh, Hamilton County or you're coming from Chicago, we've already got folks in all those areas talking to us about coming to this class. You can go ahead and pick out your fabric and we can talk to you about how you might want to change things. But the cool thing about this is because you're just decorating, if you leave yourself a lot of seam allowance, you can adjust everything after this class. It'll mm -hmm. be really simple because the lines are so dramatically simple. Mm -hmm. You know, so this will not be hard to adjust. You're talking a shoulder seam, side seams, and just kind of getting the fit so that you're happy with it. So as long as we don't cut everything down to the quarter inch seam allowance, I think we're good. So. One of the ways that I want you to think about this jacket is we've got another example in here in Gail's book. And this is where she's decorated the fabric. It's a very simple jacket, but because of the thread she used and the fact that she did a really beautiful binding around the fabric, it just takes it to a different level. And that's all done with a serger? The binding wasn't like done. Yes, that's all done with the serger. Well, I'll be. I think that it, it is had beading added yeah, to it. Yeah, but still, that's beautiful. But yeah, isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. And so you can also pick out, we're going to have a couple different ways you can do your threads. You can either do them with sparkle or mm -hmm. you can do them with matte. So really trying to fit different people's personalities. I know that we are thoughtful about that. So we're going to have... Like I said, about seven different fabrics, eight different fabrics, and then we're going to have some different thread kits you can pick out. And then those kits will be a separate price from the class. The classes are going to be $100 each day, and um, we're still going to figure out a little bit about how we're going to figure out food. Mm. That's the next part of this I've got to do, and that's I'm going to talk to Dave about that because we're the logistics people. So we got to figure out the food stuff. I will tell you the last time we did an event, we had a really good experience with the food situation we did and we might do it the same way. Food is very important. Food's very important. And we always offer chocolates and water and all that kind of stuff will be here. So there's all kinds of things mm -hmm. like that. Okay, guys, we have also a couple of other Gail Yellum patterns that just came in. Uh, one is her favorite tote bag where she does lots of decorative stitching on the front of the tote bag. And then there's this really cute Surgit tablet zipper case, which I can't wait to make. I think that's really yeah. awesome. Very cute. So I think these are really great. I have a feeling you might see some Surger classes coming out of these ideas. So we'll see what happens. I'm all about it. Oh my gosh. Do you realize it's already 10 minutes till 10? We always run out of time. We always run out of much. time. Okay. Well, I can't help it that we just got I all know, this stuff I in. Know. Guys, don't forget to share. We're going to give away this sweet little book called Quilt Making for Beginners and a little fabric bundle to go with it. And so if you will please share. And you know what? Your sharing has helped us out a tremendous amount. We have now got customers from all over the country and people are finding out about us. And it's thanks to you. That's why we want to give you something for sharing. We do really appreciate it. So please share on your Facebook page and then go down into the comments and let us know so you can win the prize. So remember only one person wins the prize. We don't give out one for every single share. Okay guys, you're not gonna believe this, but we just got in some amazing fabric. So we're gonna start off with a couple of short pile minkies. So these are 60 inches wide and what does one say when they touch minky? Ooh. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> it 
it's totally it ridiculous. So it is so soft, and it just feels like a great teddy bear. It does. So think of this on the back of one of your quilts. And one of our customers came in yesterday, and their first comment was, do you realize how easy it is to quilt with Minky? Huh. Would you have thought that? No. I wouldn't have thought that. I would, would have thought like it slippery. Right. I would have thought it'd been really difficult. But she says that it's just really easy to do. Hmm. So I'm like, okay. Now I will. T I haven't done it yet, but we do have the long arm here. If you've got a long arm at home, apparently you just load it right up like you normally do. So have you done it, Pat? Yes. Okay. Pat, who works here, has done it. So we will try that. I haven't tried it yet. But boy, this has just been, we've had so many requests, I finally had to listen to them. <laughs> so, all right, so we've got these two guys, and they're monsters. Okay, look at this one. How about lions and tigers and bears? Oh my. Cute <laughs> lions and tigers and bears. Oh, and, and sock giraffe. monkeys. And giraffes and bunnies. And panda bears and dogs. Elephants. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Can you imagine doing one of those cute little baby quilts yeah. and putting this on the back? Or making something wonderful for the baby? Mm -hmm. Anything you do for a baby out of this, they're, they're yeah. I will tell you, having had my little granddaughter do that with one of mine, I just did flannel. Uh -huh. And she was just petting it. <laughs> Even me, I just the whole time I need to be doing that. Too. Okay, now we have the things. So we have the planes, but then we have. How about this? That's also a minky. It's a short pile, so it's not going to make quite the mess that some of them do, and is adorable and beautiful. And can you imagine that on the back of somebody's quilt? Or how about some clothes? Make a cute rope. Oh, yeah. It would be very comfy to set, cuddle in that as a robe. So that is a nice thing. And then the last one of this group, Minky group, is this really pretty one. Again, a super short pile. You'll be able to have this go with so many different colors because it's got this wonderful dark blue. And then there's a little touch of brown and orange in there. Um, really, I think that this will be a great one to go with lots of different quilts. Mm -hmm. So again, they're only 60 inches wide. These are probably something you are either going to have to piece or you are going to have to um, think of it like lap quilt type size. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, all right. So then we have this amazing group of fabric. These are knits and we just got these in and the patterns on them are amazing. Now, I will tell you that this one is on the thin side. Mm. You are not going to want to, I, I was thinking of this for jammies. This would be wonderful jammy material. If my mom's watching, she just told me she needs a new pair of pajamas. Well, I think this would be super. Can you think about, you know, nice kind of loose pants with an elastic waist and then this is the top yeah and, you know so it would be really cute and on the top you might want to put a little extra layer there mm. so you don't feel like you're exposed so yeah depends on how this one is similar with this wonderful tiger print is he not fabulous and Again, it's a little thinner than I normally would have. I didn't know what we were going to get with mm. this. This was the first time we had ever ordered this. So these are a little on the thinner side. So I'm just warning you that they're, you know, not sheer, but they are certainly not as, as uh, opaque as I normally mm. like. And they're very thin. They're very they thin. They make so just you, a nice, like, lightweight cover-up. Oh, though, yeah, for sure. for sure. No, and look at the drape. Amazing yeah. drape. So if you do anything that has any gathering, mm -hmm. you know, you could just do some really cute stuff with this. Okay. And this one, Davey, you have to get up and close and show them what's on this. These two, we've already got several customers who are getting these to make their own pajamas so that they can have their sewing machines and the buttons. <laughs> they have their whole sewing uniform then. And from, they have their sewing yeah. uniform. And I think that's a fabulous idea. So one of the customers came in and she said, oh, I'm making that for me. <laughs> she was so cute. <laughs> so, 
Oh, <gasps> that one okay. is gorgeous. This one is gorgeous and weirdly, it's thicker. And it's not as transparent. And guess what? It just came in, so I'm still taking stuff off of it. It is not as transparent. And so these next couple I'm showing you, they are thin knits, and but they're not as transparent as the other one. So that's so pretty. So I don't know how it's viewing in there, if you can kind of see, but it's not as transparent. Mm -hmm. So this is, and, and it, it feels heavier. So this one has a little bit more heft to it. Um, it is really nice. It is a poly jersey knit. All these ones I just showed you, all the knits, they are all poly jersey knits. And I don't know why these these three are heavier, but they are. And I, I, I don't have an answer for you. It's a new company. We've never bought from them before. Oh. And so this is a new experience for us. So what I'm gonna recommend as far as taking care of these, don't throw them in your dryer on a heat setting that's like high. Um, don't put them in with a lot of other stuff. I'm worried about pelling with them. Mm. So you're gonna have to take a little more care with these so that they're, they stay nicer for you longer. We need but, to put them through the Dave test. Um, the Dave test. The Dave test is Dave does our laundry. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> so, but, I mean, I see this as a top already. I'm really liking it's this really fabric. Pretty. It's really pretty. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. So then we have this one, which is really cute. You yes. look really pretty in these colors. This is would be fabulous on you. So this one has kind of a, a real white background on it, and it has lovely colors going through it. There's some golds and a little bit of orange. There's blue in it red a little touch of red just every once in a while you see a tiny touch of red it's really really pretty and again this is the heavier one so this is going to make a great top or it's going to make a great pair of, i hate you know those crazy wild fun wide pants oh you know i know because <laughs> every time i get a pair of wide pants on i just want to move around yeah, and you're swishing them so that'll be cool um okay check this guy out Ooh, this is gorgeous. Wow. I'm thinking pool cover sweater kind of thing, a really cute dress. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, there's so much you could do with this. This is so, so cool. fun and it's just so happy. Oh my gosh, it's just wonderful. So where are you gonna wear this? <laughs> so I love it. I think it makes me think of like, um, the, uh, we had in here a while back, we were supposed to get this one fabric in and it didn't end up having damage all through the fabric. Oh, and so no. we ended up, you know, not keeping it. Uh, and this reminds me a lot of it. It was really bold prints and it was done by a big designer. And this I think is just stunning. Really, really stunning. I can see a lot of people looking just amazing in this. Can you see it as a maxi dress? Yes be a gorgeous maxi dress. Are you going to take a trip to someplace warm and beachy? Wouldn't this be so fabulous yeah. for your wardrobe? I think this would be so fabulous. Okay, so I've gotta hurry up here because, oh, well, well, actually, I think we're gonna have to, I know I was supposed to show off the new shimmers we got. We got some printed shimmers and I was supposed to show them off. I even included them in our email, but it's 10 o'clock. It was, that was just a tease. It was a tease. I'm gonna have to wait till next week. And I'm gonna show them off with our, um, we have some gorgeous fabrics for Halloween. And some of these will go really cool with the Halloween stuff. Some of them are just gonna be gorgeous because they're gorgeous. So, oh, 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 what are we doing? Oh, just oh, I know what he wants us to do. Come on. You guys stand. Oh. I didn't even notice that. I feel like I almost hit my head on it. Now, now I'm not going to forget it's there. No, this is our happy place, and we're ha so happy you joined us in it. Everybody, I hope you have a fantastic Saturday. In Bloomington, we are having the 4th Street Art Festival. 
although it's getting off to quite a rainy start here so it might be better this afternoon so it's a great time to stop here but so you if you're yeah. coming to bloomington and you thought you'd go to the art festival come here first we'll take care of you mm -hmm. then you can go off and do the other stuff so i hope you have a wonderful day i hope that things are going to be just you know just going to be a great weekend it's labor day weekend yeah do we have a day we have an extra day off i actually have a two-day weekend I never get a two-day weekend, Yay. so I'm really excited. Relaxation uh, Yes, time. exactly, exactly. Okay, everybody, have a fantastic Saturday, and we will see you next week for Facebook Live.